on August 2nd, a day that Ray has marked down on his soul, not just his calendar, his soul, the 43rd interpretation of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Here we go. Is coming to theaters with TMNT, Mutant Mayhem, which actually isn't a bad title, to be honest with you. Now, look, I, I, I admit, I am not a fan of the modern era of ta- Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, okay? I'm not into the pizza-eating, skateboard-riding, cowabunga-dude Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I am much more of a fan of the original black-and-white, darker-edge Teenage Mutant, the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'm more of a fan of that. But that's not to say there haven't been some... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff that they've put out that I that I haven't enjoyed. There, there have been a few things. I'm just not generally a fan. That's just me. So we've got this new TMNT Mutant Mayhem movie coming out, and they show the first trailer. Gotta say, not a fan of the first trailer. They did a presentation at CinemaCon. Eh, for me. Well, now a brand new trailer has just come out, and I gotta say, this one almost has me. <laughs> it, 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 it's it's almost got me. And I'll get this out of the way first. I was sitting there watching the trailer, and I'm watching it with Jonathan. I'm sitting with Jonathan watching it. I'm thinking to myself, oh, my God, I'm actually kind of liking this trailer. Like, <laughs> I didn't like the first one. And then it got down to the last eight seconds of the trailer, uh. and then all the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in one harmonious voice say, cowabunga. And I said out loud, fuck, they just lost me. They just right. lost me. It was a pretty good trailer up into that. It's like, what the fuck just happened? Did 1991 Bart Simpson just come in the room and say cowabunga? Is that what just happened? I hated that. But you know what? <laughs> you know what? I'm going to compartmentalize here. Car-part-mentalize this whole thing. I'm going to put that cowabunga idiocy aside for a second. Oh, I got to say, this trailer has warmed. Hey, listen, it has actually warmed me up. I thought it was cute. When, when that damn frog says, humans got to go, I'm like, okay, you know what? This is pretty funny. I, I am, I am fine. Look, I'm not, I'm not telling you right now that I am excited for mutant mayhem. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to say that I am, but I don't dread the day that I need to go watch this with Ray. Anymore. We'll take it. I don't dread it anymore. I ask Ninja Turtle fans. I got to say, maybe. We'll you take know, it. We'll I, take it. I'm I'm kind of warming up to it. Ray, of course, like when we went to CinemaCon, you were like a freaking heat-seeking missile. All you wanted to do, like Margot Robbie was standing there. And you're like, yeah, 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 no, no, no. You're walking yeah, yeah. around looking Where's for the turtles? TMNT posters and displays yeah, yeah. and all that kind of stuff. You, what do you think about the new trailer? Um, I I like it like, like the other one. I, I do agree with you on Cowabunga. After I thought about it for a little while, I was like, if this is supposed to be a modern take, why are they still saying that? You know what I mean? But you know what? It's a part of their DNA, or at least this, not the one turtles that you like. Right. But it's a part of this, these turtles. It DNA. is. The Nickelodeon era. We'll call them that. Sure. Um, I, I can't wait. It's like a new take on the turtles. If it works, it works. If, if it doesn't, as long as it's short is what I'm saying. As long as it's short. Because it seems very busy. I, I like it. It's I like I like the animation. Like Jonathan was telling me earlier, he he likes the animation. So we'll just see. We'll one more trailer to bring it home. I think we need one more. I gotta say, to I I agree with Jonathan. Like Jonathan brought up that he liked the animation style, and I did not when I first started seeing some production stuff out of this. It it wasn't clicking with me, but now that I've seen a couple of trailers and this one in particular. I, I got to say, I'm also warming up to the art style of it, too. And and I'm telling you, other than Mission Impossible at CinemaCon, there's a reason Paramount, which won last year, or like, you had a big year last year. Yeah. This was front and center for Yeah, them. they really went heavy on this one. Um, the last thing I remember them doing was uh, Sonic. They went front heavy with Sonic that one year at CinemaCon. And that wasn't a bad movie either. Yeah, but so. that worked out pretty well for them, yeah. didn't it? So. Jonathan, I watched this with you. I was sitting down with you watching it. What did uh, what did you... First of all, what have you been thinking about Mutant Mayhem? And now that you've seen this trailer, what do you think in general? I definitely didn't expect it to be like the original uh, uh, comics or like this last Ronin that we've seen now uh, come out. I, I figured it would stick to that Nickelodeon age, if we want to call it that. Um, I did feel like saying cowabunga now, though, is like kids today don't really get that phrase. I mean, that's like 
a 30 plus year old 40 plus year old phrase yeah <laughs> so oh, i mean yeah that's that's sorry i'm dating myself as well here but so that was a little like unnecessary i love the kind of it's it's obviously you know uh cgi or or at least it's like digital art but they make it look like stop uh, um what do you call it uh stop motion stop motion yeah animation it's great i love that um i kind of like that it's not shredder heavy right now i, I kind of feel like maybe like you were saying too we're probably gonna get shredder if there's a sequel i'm guessing there's gonna be a post credit scene yeah, with shredder so that, I, like I think they're it, gonna introduce him somehow some way here i like that it takes away from that it's kind of more of a little bit of original storyline um because what's his ninja crew called the foot the foot plan yeah the foot, the foot clan. clan right yeah. imagine how cool shredder's gonna look i hope they make him big like kingpin in spider-verse like with all the spikes that would be awesome if are he... they are the foot at all related to daredevil's the hand because they're two different the two bad guy ninja clans the foot and the hand any relation <laughs> Real quick, jonathan your kids do you think they'll see this uh you know what for the art alone i think uh at least one of them will maybe two out of the three but not all three oh, okay yeah uh it, it falls in this weird place where it's it's too old for like the youth of today to have any nostalgia for it and it's like <laughs> we're all kind of tired of that i think and so it's gonna it's gonna fall in this weird place i think in the box office i'm not sure i do want to say real quickly though i think don and tell's voice was way too young yeah it doesn't sound like it. a young high schooler sounds sound like, like a, a 12 year old grader. but you know what let's let's see if it plays in yeah, the movie yeah well you know what we want to thank a sponsor of this video, Mint Mobile. From the gas pump to the grocery store, your utility bills and favorite streaming services, inflation is everywhere. Seriously, make it stop. Thankfully, there's one company out there that's giving you a much needed break. It's Mint Mobile. As the first company to sell premium wireless service online only, Mint Mobile lets you order from home and save a ton with phone plans starting at just $15 a month. You guys know that ever since I switched to Mint Mobile, I've been saving almost 70% a month over my old phone plan. For people looking for extra savings this year, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. By going online only and eliminating the traditional cost of retail, Mint Mobile passes the significant savings on to you. All of their plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month to get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free go to mintmobile.com slash campia that's mintmobile.com slash campia cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia guys question is for you what do you think about the brand new tmnt mutant mayhem trailer are you like me that you've been like listen all these the modern era of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is kind of lame. And you're like, maybe you like this trailer. Maybe you're not like me and you're more like Ray, where you love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and you're looking forward to this one already. Have you warmed up to it? Have you not? Have you cooled on it? Whatever you guys are thinking about this, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks a lot for watching our video. Make sure you click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. And by the way, we do the John Campy Show podcast every day. So go and subscribe to it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or whatever your favorite podcasting app of choice is.